Hebrews chapter 3 verses 1 to 19. Therefore, holy brethren, partakers of the heavenly calling, consider the apostle and high priest of our profession, Christ Jesus, who was faithful to him that appointed him, as also Moses was faithful in all his house. For this man was counted worthy of more glory than Moses, and as much as he who had built the house had more honor than the house. For every house is built by some man, but he that built all things is God. And Moses really was faithful in all his house, as a servant, for testimony of those things which were to be spoken after. But Christ, as a son, over his own house, whose house are we? If we hold fast the confidence and the rejoicing of the hope, firm unto the end. Therefore, as the Holy Ghost said, Today, if ye will hear his voice, harden not your hearts, as in the provocation, in the day of temptation, in the wilderness. When your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my works for the years, before I was grieved with that generation, and said, They do all the err in their heart, and they have not known my ways. So I swear in my wrath, they shall not enter into my rest. Take heed, brethren, lest there be in any of you an evil heart of unbelief in departing from the living God. But exhort one another daily, what it is called today, lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. For we are made partakers of Christ, if we hold the beginning of our confidence, set fast unto the end. What it is said, today if evil hear his voice, harden not your hearts, as in the prorogation. For some, when they had heard, did provoke, howbeit not all that came out of Egypt by Moses. But with whom was he grieved forty years? Was it not with them that had sinned, whose carcasses fell in the wilderness? Unto whom swear he that they could not enter into his rest? But to them that believe not, so we see that they could not enter in because of unbelief.